Well, today I want to talk to you again about one of the Beatitudes of Jesus, those sayings in the Sermon on the Mount, where he proclaimed, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled, they will be satisfied. Once again, Jesus has flipped the common thinking or wisdom of the day on its head. For we think of those who hunger and thirst for righteousness as those who are going to be discouraged, those who are going to be uh, empty, come up empty. Because we hear all the bad news and we feel pretty powerless when we hear it. We hear how, say, someone has been murdered. We might hear how the economy has tanked or something has changed that uh, is very negative in the world. The, the forests in Brazil are burning and we get discouraged and we don't feel filled at all. We feel more empty. Well, Jesus would lead us to, to understand that there's a blessing in hungering and thirsting. And I have a few suggestions of how that might be. The first one is, blessed are we who hunger and thirst because we still care. We haven't given in to cynicism. We haven't caved to just becoming hard or worried only about ourselves. But we still look out in the world and we care that it's not right. It's not the good place that we imagine or, or, or wish it were to be. We still care. Blessed are we that we care. And in that caring, I want you to know there's another blessing, that God hungers and thirsts with us. We're not alone in this. God hungers and thirsts to see this world be a better place. And in that is not a small thing, to know that the divine cares about what's going on in this world. And when the divine cares, the divine acts. And we saw this in Jesus. God wasn't just aloof standing back, but he came in Jesus. And in the midst of the mess, he showed God's care through healing people. He showed God's care through feeding people, through delivering them from evil, that, that he was present in the mess. He didn't fix it all, but he kept shining through. And I think for us to know the blessedness of hungering and thirst for righteousness would lead us to act as well. As we look out in this world and see injustice, as we look out in this world and see people hurting, that we act on their behalf and the blessedness comes from that acting. And that, I think, also is where the feeling comes. That something of God works in and through our lives. So I'd have you consider this week, blessed are you as you hunger and thirst for righteousness. For you shall be filled. Amen.